Vapor retarder or no vapor retarder? That's the question. With all the different discussions and the varying opinions on where vapor retarders should be placed or whether they should even be used in slab construction, we decided it would be a good idea to go over the American Concrete Institute's Guide for Concrete Floors and Slab Construction, which is ACI 302.1. Now, it's an all-encompassing document, but there's one piece in it that I think is just critical, and that's a very, very straightforward flowchart that gives a few simple questions and allows you to actually go through the process to determine whether or not and or where a vapor retarder should be placed during the construction process. So, if you look at the whiteboard, we have question number one. Is there going to be a moisture sensitive flooring product applied to the surface of the concrete? Two, is there going to be a moisture sensitive adhesive used? Three, is there going to be a moisture sensitive underlayment on top of that slab? Four, Maybe there's going to be a moisture sensitive coating on top. Five, are there going to be moisture sensitive items that are placed or stored directly on that slab? And then you have number six, which is, are there going to be humidity controls in the environment? And now or in the future, will there not be any one through five? And then seven, the same situation, now or in the future, no one through five but are there going to be climate controls? So if you answered no to all seven of these questions, you can go right down the flow chart to this spot here where you have a sub base, a concrete slab poured directly on top of it with no vapor retarder. So now if you've asked or answered yes to any one of these seven questions, it's delineated between did you answer yes to one through five, or yes to six and or seven. So first we'll start with yes to six and or seven. If that's the case, there's one additional question that needs to be asked. Is the slab and is the sub base going to be placed with a watertight roofing system in place? If the answer to that is yes, then you can actually have a slab designed like this, which is vapor retarder, the sub base, and the concrete directly on top of it. If you answered yes to six and or seven, but there's not going to be a watertight roofing system in place, then you come over here where you have sub base, the vapor retarder, and the concrete slab directly on top of that. Now, if you answered yes to one through five, you just go straight down to this spot here where you have the slab, vapor retarder, sub base directly on top of that so that you're actually keeping the any moisture that you would have in that sub base from getting up to the bottom side of the slab and having any kind of interaction with the flooring product that's going to be applied to the top. Where do you typically see the vapor retarder placed on your job site? Or do you see vapor retarders typically placed in your job site? Hit me up on Twitter at RapidRHRep and let me know.